Professional photography of celebrities is an art form all its own. Annie Leibovitz has made a career of it. Yeah. For those lucky enough to work one-on-one -on -one with actors or musicians, they capture these stars. Intimate moments few others will ever be a part of. This week, our photojournalist Alex Atwell introduces us to a uniquely Detroit photographer who's traveled the world with two of the biggest names in the world and in Detroit. A lot of people collect stuff, right? Whether it's art, whether it's music, you know, vinyl or baseball cards. I feel like I collect memories. I'm Jeremy Debutet and I'm a photographer. Being a photographer in this city is great. I feel like the city is better than a Hollywood backlot. I get to view things at a completely different perspective than anybody else. I mean, I've been all over the world many times, a lot of places that I would have never gone if it, you know, mostly, you know, was, was M that has taken me everywhere. I've been to every continent with Marshall, besides Antarctica, and I don't plan on ever going there. It's, it's a pretty amazing opportunity to, to be in. I mean, especially for him, where they, you know, really don't let anybody photograph him. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of pressure as well because you know, we do, we're doing stadium shows. Everybody in the press needs photos from that. And I'm the only one there that needs to deliver. If I didn't come through and I didn't deliver, then they had absolutely nothing. What makes a good photograph and what makes a good photographer is the same thing, being able to capture the moment and, you know, being, I guess, ready whenever it happens. You never know what's gonna happen, right? So you kinda stay ready all the time. A few years ago, I shot a book for Kid Rocks. We were having so much fun and I was capturing so much stuff that I just stayed the whole time. So I think, you know, 10 shows turned into five months and we went everywhere. What I learned a lot about from him was how to stay ready. I just remember him saying to me one night, like, look, you're slow as hell and if you don't speed it up, you're not gonna, make, you're not gonna get anything, so. You know, he and he really pushed me to always be ready and shoot fast and like, you know, and, and that helped me out so much down the road. Kind of the grand finale of the tour was getting back home and, and doing America Park. Yeah, that was pretty amazing just to, you know, have did, did every venue across the United States and then kind of finishing it off here in Detroit at Comerica Park. That was definitely the, the moment of the tour for sure. What's it like to have your photograph on the cover of a magazine. I mean it's great. It's, it's good for exposure, you know. Um, and it's, it's definitely kind of surreal when you, you know, walking around and you see it in the, in the newsstand or whether it's on a billboard or whatever. It's, it's, it's cool. The shot that I captured with with Marshall and Rick Rubin was was definitely that was definitely a, a moment, you know, in, in my career and you know, it was funny, you know, Rick Rick was kind of just walking around, you know, no shoes on, and I, I had never worked with him before. He, he was super cool, and, you know, I still remember, um, you know, right before I captured that shot, Paul Rosenberg looked at me and he said, like, you know if you don't get this, you're going to hate yourself for the rest of your life. I ended up getting it. It took about, you know, they kind of looked at me for about three seconds. I got a couple frames off, and then they kept doing their thing, you know, so. Uh, that, that was, that's one that I remember, definitely a defining moment. Very cool. Remember back when you played Comerica Park? Yes, yes. Rick <laughs> Rubin was there producing for me. Yeah. Well, Run DMC was there with Aerosmith. Wow. Yeah, they had Adidas suits on. My Adidas. Adidas. Yeah.